Hello everyone, this is Alan from Saplos Company. Today I show you how grade B and grade C sales was happened. I was working in battery business about six years, and du during this period, I have no noticed so many bad things from the website. Many people say buying battery from China is risk, Chinese product is risk. So many things like this. So at that time, we decided to do the good product. We trying to be uh, make a product as good as make in Europe and made in USA. So we refused those grade B and grade C sales for a long time. But one day, an Indian client comes to me. He asked me about a cheap battery, and we refused it. And we say we quit the Indian market, but the Indian clients tells me a word, make me think a lot. That's why I decided to make a video about the grid B and the grid C sales. He said not everyone have a choice. Someone can choose the good quality battery, and someone can only can choose the cheap battery. So I decided to show something about the cheap battery, try to help more people to reduce the risk about the uh, cheap battery. I cannot help you to buy a good A quality battery with a good B price. So let's begin. First, we need to know how many type of battery in the market. There are four types normally. Grid A sales, uh, some factory will have grid A plus and grid A minus to level. And uh, grid B sales, grid C sales, and second hand sales. So if you want to know what is grid A, grid B, and grid C sales, first you need to know how a sales was made. In. So f first is incoming the material and the mixing, and the coating, calendaring, slitting, winding, assemble, formation, capacity, aging, and sorting. That is how a sales was made. Then let, then let us see where the grid B and the grid C happened and why. The first type is incoming material. This is the positive material and this is the negative material. The purify of those mo low material will have a big influence of the battery cells. So that is also a very important reason why the cells are always different. And for pack, we know the most important things is the consistency. That means all the cells should show same voltage, capacity, inner resistance, and so on. So when the incoming material, then first we need mixing. So, so for mixing, there is also a very big problem that is no one can make sure that the mixing can be 100% uniform. After mixing, and it is coating, they, we need to put the, the uh, positive material and the negative material in, in, into this form. Uh, for normally, the positive is aluminum form and the negative is copper form. And uh, this is also an important part why sales was different as we, we printing this material on, t on this form and also it is a difference, so no one can make sure the coating is 100% uniform. After coating is calendaring, like this. And uh, after calendaring, uh, it is slatting. So we need slatting the uh, four into pieces like this. And this is very, very important part. This sales, uh, self-discharging, is because of this part, and the most grid B and grid C cells are because of this part. As we need the winding and the assemble them, we need to cut the uh, material like this. This is positive part, it is aluminum foil, and this is negative part, and it's copper foil. We need uh, positive material, 
the separator, the negative material, and the separator, and we put them together, and we wind in them, and assemble, they assemble them into the housing. But as the positive and the negative part are the aluminum and the copper, so when slating, the both sides have some tips. Those tips are very sharp and uh, have a chance to impact the separator. This is the inner shock, in uh, inter short circuit. That mean that is the main reason why cells have uh, the self discharging rate. Like this, when we cut the aluminum foil and the copper foil, the both sides will have some tips very sharp. And when we put them together and separate them with a separator, then as they, the straps, those tips are very sharp, so it has chance to cut this separator. That makes the inner shock filter. And uh, for this reason, many factories will have an OCT machine. The OCT machine is like a CT in the hospital. So through the OCT machine, they can see everything inside of the cells. And uh, also, that's the, why, uh, that's the reason why battery needs to stock about 28 days after it is finished everything. Because uh, if different uh, short, short circuit rate, if different uh, uh, self-discharging rate, so after 28 days, uh, of course, if we start with the same voltage, with same capacity, and if different uh, self-discharging rate, so after 28 days, the voltage and the capacity will be different. But if after 28 days, the, uh, the voltage and the capacity also in the same level, that means those cells show uh, similar uh, self-discharging rate. Uh, this is just for double check. Here we'll have many grid B and grid C cells happened, and this is also very important reason why battery explode, because uh, different self-discharging rate that will cause the different uh, capacity, different volt, and everything. That is the reason why battery explode. And uh, after we assemble, we wind in them and assemble them, then we need to a uh, electronic in injection. And this is also a very important part, and uh, also it is hard to make sure every cells we inject 100 same volume um, electronics. So after this, we need a formation and a capacity. Formation, what is formation? Formation is means we need to activate the battery first to make sure the battery is alive or die. And the capacity is we put similar capacity voltage cells into same group. Every factory will have a standard for this group. If client have a standard for their cells, factory can follow it too. So different standard will share different price. Just as we said, there are so many things will cost different for the cells. And of course, the cells will have um, many different things inside. So we need sorting many, many, many cells to check, um, to get the same level cells and uh, like, just like this uh, capacity. Uh, we make sure all the same capacity cells and uh, voltage, same voltage cells into one group and uh, do the check. This is for formation and the capacity. All those cells who cannot meet the stand, standard, then it is grid B cells and the wave formation. There will be many cells not working, and also those cells are grid C cells. After formation and the capacity, then comes aging and the sorting. So uh, this is for aging and the sorting, and the mostly the, the sorting are for inner resistance appearance, size, and weight. And the most important part of this is the inner resistance. As if we need to do the battery pike, we need to put, uh, to get some cells, shells, same voltage, 
same capacity, same inner resistance. So to make sure this cells, all every single cells will discharging and charging at the same level, and then it is safety and a long cycle life. So we must make sure the cells should in same or uh, similar in inner resistance. Uh, for appearance is uh, is easy, and those cells is good, but the appearance is not good. So some factory will also put them into good B cells and the size and the weight just as a company standard. So every factory will have a standard for it too. So all those cells who cannot meet the standard are good B cells. And the stock for more than 28 days if volt, voltage and the capacity are in same level, then we can sell. If not, then good B cells again. So let's come to the conclusion. What is grid A sales? The grid A sales means it is good quality sales, past all the tests from the factory uh, because of different standards. So grid A minus and grid A plus sales. Some grid A minus sales are from grid A plus sales. So many grid A plus has stock for long time, then it is grade A minus sales. And, uh, but many factory will also put this uh, stock grade A sales into the grade B sales group. That is also um, how grade B sales was happened. Then what is grade B sales? First, a self-discharging rate is exceed. Some factory will have a standard for the uh, self-discharging rate for grid B and grid C, but some factory just have a self-discharging rate for grid A and grid B. This part is the uh, main risk of the grid B sales as different self-discharging rate. So the sales will charging and discharging always in different level. The, so the most important things is this will affect the battery cycle life. And uh, if it's serious, and also it is the main reason why many Leon battery was, uh, was exploded. And the second is the capacity is not enough as the data sheet. Uh, this is also the grid B cells, but those, if those cells have passed all the tests, it is also good, it is good. And the third is inner resistance is exceed. And uh, size is exceed, appearance is not good, weight is exceed, and the voltage and the capacity cannot in the same level. And I think maybe many people do not understand what does this mean. Because normally to say, uh, if we made a battery, uh, if those battery are same capacity, then the voltage will be similar too. And, but when we produce the cells, for sure we will meet this problem. Some cells and the voltage was not in the same level. So these cells also grid B cells. And also uh, for some grid A cells, it has been stocked for too long time and it become uh, grid B cells. So, for these sales, there are so many sales in the market. Many people will reuse in those sales. The risk is the self-discharging rate. And uh, if just the capacity is not enough as the data sheet, I think those sales is good. We can recompile the, uh, we can choose some similar capacity sales from them and choose the similar inner resistance from them. So even the inner resistance is exceed, but uh, if we have too many uh, number of sales in the market, we also can choose some uh, similar level inner resistance, similar level capacity sales, and put them to into a new battery. Uh, for sure, this battery uh, cycle life is uh, not enough, not good enough as the uh, grid A sales. But also, will some some sales just the size exceed, exceed, and the appearance is not good, and the weight is exceed. If sales like this, maybe it is good uh, to 
make a battery pack. And uh, full voltage and the capacity is not in the same level. This sales is also not good because uh, if different voltage for sales, then it is not good for battery pack. Uh, but if just the sales just for stock to for too long time and become the grid B, and this sales is good. For grid B sales, the main reason is we do not know why the sale is the sale is the sales is grid B. If it is because of self discharging rate is exceed, or it or just because capacity, or just because inner resistance or size or appearance or weight, uh, anything. The risk is here. We do not know why it is grid B sales. Factory will put all those sales together and sell it out to the middleman. And the middleman will uh, sorting the sorting from those sales and to resell again. And I think that this is the main reason uh, about why grid B sales have a big risk. Maybe you got uh, some grid B sales. It is because self discharging rate is too high, and it it is a risk. And uh, maybe you just got this. Just uh, the capacity is not enough. So that is why uh, grid B sales is risk. Okay. Then next is grid C sales. For sure, the grid C sales is not working sales. The self discharging rate is it is exceed and most factory name them grid C and then it's destroy. But the problem is not all factory will have grid C level. Uh, the grid C level sales need to be destroyed, but many factory just have grid A and grid B two level. And uh, some factory will have a standard for grid B sales and grid C sales in the self discharging rate. I think this is also a very important reason why grid B sales is so is cheap because many factory will name them as grid A and grid A and grid B only. So all the sales qualified it grid A, unqualified it grid B, and uh, they put them together and sell it out to the middleman together. So this is the main reason of why grid B. Uh, sales is cheap and uh, also why grid B sales is risk. So that is all. So if you are happy with my video, please follow us. And the next video, I will show, show you how to distinguish the, the grid A sales, grid B sales, and the second hand sales. And I will keep to um, to tell some source of the Chinese market of the grid B and grid C sales. Hope you like it. Thank you.